Hi, I'm Martha Brokenbro, the author of Unprecedented, a biography of Donald Trump. I also wrote Alexander Hamilton Revolutionary. I'm so sorry that I couldn't be with you in person, but I'm going to talk for the next few minutes about what it takes to understand history, at least from the point of view of a biographer. So how do we know what we know? This is one of the central questions of our age, of any age really. For the longest time, we knew Alexander Hamilton was a closet monarchist. Why did we know this? Because his enemies told us so. In hindsight, and with the benefit of Ron Chernow's excellent biography, and with Lin-Manuel Miranda's extraordinary, if not entirely factual musical, we know this understanding of Hamilton was hogwash. In hindsight, it's easy to see the truth. Why would an orphan who fought to overthrow a monarchy, risking his life many times, why would a lawyer who could have made a lot more money in private practice have worked himself sick writing the Federalist Papers? Why would he then serve as the nation's first Treasury Secretary if he had actually wanted a king all along? Hamilton wasn't perfect, but he wasn't a monarchist either. When I was finishing up this book, the 2016 election was unfolding. Hamilton had made a striking observation about demagogues and the way they appeal to the emotions of a crowd and the way demagogues create chaos as a means of undermining democracy. It struck me at the time that Donald Trump <coughs> was precisely the demagogue Hamilton was describing. When Trump won the election, I wanted to write a book about him for young readers. I wanted to look at Trump with this filter. What would Hamilton, one of the most important founders of this nation and its systems, have thought? My goal was to understand the patterns of Trump's life as people had come to understand the patterns of Hamilton's life. In doing this, I believe I would create a fair and accurate portrayal. So what is fair? This is a good question and it's a good one to ask your students. A lot of us have the notion that truth and fairness is always somewhere in the middle of the extremes. This isn't the case. Reflexive centrism can actually lead to a false sense of what is real. So let's take climate change, for example. According to NASA, 97% of the world's climate change scientists agree that human activity is causing life-threatening changes to the planet. But because fringe viewpoints are often quoted and advanced with equal weight, only 69% of Americans understand this is happening, according to the Yale University Program on Climate Change Communication. That is a huge gap in understanding reality. So patterns. Understanding them is how we learn everything. Seeing the patterns made by the letter A and so on are how we read. Seeing patterns are how we recognize an apple versus an orange and how we recognize more complex phenomena. We are at a stunning point in history, an impeachment inquiry into President Donald Trump. How do we know what to think of what's happening? by understanding the patterns that have led us to this moment. This is what my book, Unprecedented, does. I learned the pattern of Trump's life, I wrote about them, and then I documented every one of my sources with more than 1,400 footnotes. Here are the patterns, here's how I know. I did not seek <coughs> to create a falsely balanced portrait, I wanted to create an accurate one. There were significant patterns I observed and documented. Trump's history of racial hostility, xenophobia, failure in business, his political ambitions, and his repeated willful deceptions. The process I used is really similar to the way pathologists recognize cancer. They look at cells. Pathologists know what a normal cell looks like, and they know what a cancerous cell looks like. When they see cancer, they say it. It's not a matter of saying there are also some very healthy cells on the side. One of the most dangerous things Trump has done as a leader is to make people doubt facts and reality. A shared set of facts is essential to any rational discussion. This is how we come close to understanding truths about every aspect of the world. Journalism plays a vital part in this. Journalism are, journalists are students of the world. They report back to us what they learned. Here are the patterns they say, and here's how we know. In science, this is how we understand the laws of nature. This is how we innovate and heal the planet. In history, this is how we understand power and oppression. Remedying this is how we seek justice. In literature, this is how we examine a book for its themes. This is how we find meaning in the human experience. In a democracy, this is how citizens speak truth to power. When someone has taken away that notion of the truth, 
only power remains. The work you do with students in understanding this is of vital importance, now more than ever. Thank you and good luck.